Hi, and welcome to this week's Whiteboard Wednesday. I'm Corrine Wilson, the Application Security Product Marketing Manager for Rapid7, here to talk to you about assessing and securing modern web applications. For security professionals, keeping up with application complexity is tough, especially in today's world. Back in the day, web applications were built to present information to a reader. That's it. No or very little engagement, nice and static and easy for the quarterly manual pen test to help with those pesky risk reports. But let's face it, these days organizations are building or using interactive websites. Today, it's all about user engagement and web developers have risen to the challenge of satisfying the user. New versions can be deployed at a moment's notice, bug fixes can be pushed out several times a day, and user behavior can actually help guide the next big feature. While cloud hosting can guarantee uptime and automatically scale as demand increases, the shift in application development and delivery has also introduced a whole new complexity of accurately assessing application risk, and that's testing coverage. Think about it. The evolution of traditional apps to the apps we use today with RESTful APIs, single page applications, microservices, and apps with complex workflows like shopping cart sequences have driven many security professionals to adopt scanning tools that allow for automation, scalability, and extensibility. But what happens if your automated te testing solutions aren't covering or can't cover all of the elements that makes your application an application? The fallback is manual pen testing, which just isn't scalable for organizations that have 50, hundreds, or even thousands of web applications. While dynamic scanners are always attempting to keep up with these changes, inevitably, there are dips in coverage while we figure out ways to keep up with the ever-changing application. Admittedly, a dynamic scanner can never actually cover 100% of an application, yet there are always things that have to be done and tested manually, but not all DAS tools are created equal. We heard from security experts that dynamic scanner coverage has actually in eroded in recent years and the gap in coverage is growing. So instead of their DAS scanners giving them accurate results to address potential risk, it's making them spend time on figuring out why the application broke the scanner. Does this sound like you? Well, I have some advice. Start by asking your vendor the tough questions. One, how do you stay current with ever-changing apps? Today's apps have rich client interfaces and APIs that are very difficult to address. Review your logs with your vendor and ask them to explain coverage or lack thereof. Two, how does your solution ensure maximum coverage? Less coverage means more manual testing and more manual testing means more costs associated with securing the app. And three, a little bonus question for you. How does your solution authenticate and maintain sessions? You don't want to be up all night babysitting your application to ensure scanning has been completed. And continue to ask the questions. If you need help figuring out which questions that you should be asking, consider looking at Rapid7's Application Security Buyer's Guide. And that's it for this week's Whiteboard Wednesday. We'll look forward to seeing you next week.